My last thing I want to mention is right now there's a culture that um, that there's a belief that you can't really buy a house that's the expenses are it's too much. I'm going to challenge those that have that thinking. Um, you can buy a house. There's so many grants out there that can cover your down payment. And I do want to challenge you to really consider that. If you want to be in central Iowa for five to 10 years, this is where you want to live. You want a certain type of level of uh, a home or an apartment to live. You have to be reminded that rental uh, monthly payments, like rent payments, lease agreements, that's a lagging number. And you have to understand when you buy a house, it might appear that the monthly payment is a little bit more compared to owning the same type of house or renting the same type of house. But guess what? You're fixed with your payment. As long as insurance and taxes don't get go out of whack, which is very rare, but you have a fixed payment. If you rent the same house for 10 years compared to owning it, it gets astronomically devastating financially. Now, this is assuming you can afford the rent. This is assuming that you can afford the, mor uh, the mortgage payment. But I'm just telling you, we try to make the home buying process easy and clear. This is why we've dedicated as a team so much time in really researching budgeting. Mm -hmm. Jordan has spent a lot of time doing that and understanding that, setting up budgets. If you have bad credit right now, Monsi knows how to help you rebuild it. Mm -hmm. We really believe in home ownership. And I want to challenge you to really think this through. Don't be, don't just rule it out. Like make that a goal. We can help you. I had a client buy a house two years ago. It took eight years to that point to get, for her to get to that house. But she got a great house. She worked hard. Life kind of messed her up at times. But guess what? She was in her early 30s. Well, she's probably going to be in that house until she's about 60. As long as things go as she plans. But it's like, that's going to be so much better than renting. Mm -hmm. I recently sold a house this week. They bought it for 170 10 years ago. 170 And all they did, they did some basic maintenance. But they're going to sell it for close to 290 in 10 years. When you compare that to renting, it's absolutely insane. If you pay that rent and you walk away after 10 years, you're talking about probably close to $200,000 that you get no money back. When you own a house for about 10 years, they're probably gonna be getting around, I mean, well over $100,000 back. But not, not only that, but they're paying down their mortgage. So it's gonna be more like 150 to $180,000 back. So home buying is not flashy, but it's much better than renting. And it's so much better to have control and take ownership of this. And so we're a team, we're in it for the long call. So I wanna challenge you in 2024 to really consider about home buying and you can do it. We've helped so many people all across the board, people making $10 an hour buying a house. We've worked with millionaires, but the point is we want to help everyone at every single price point to, to really get them into the home ownership situation. And it's your house. Mm -hmm. don't, don't discredit humble beginnings. A lot of our clients started with this simple two, uh, two bedroom, 600 square foot house, but well, guess what? Seven to 10 years later, they buy a 1,500 square foot house that's pretty nice in the suburbs. It's just like, it, this can be a monumental thing for not only you, but also your family. So reach out if, if you're looking to buy a house. If you're thinking about it, we want to help you. Whether you buy this year or five years from now, we really believe in home ownership.